Hello guys, this is Edward with the iPhone 901 again. Um, we're just doing a little update to the last video that we had um, about the 5.0 or 501 unlocked with the GV SIM card. I'll show you what we have here. This is an iPhone 4. Uh, if we go to settings general about, you're going to see it's a 501 and it has, again, it's a 410 baseband. We are using it on the Apple dock here. So, um, just so you know, um, it's a 410 baseband. This was a custom update again. Uh, so we do have a preserved baseband on here. This cannot be done if you have 411. Again, no 411 yet. Okay, so we open up Cydia. Before we showed you where the phone was not jailbroken, um, today the phone is jailbroken and we do have Furious Mod installed. Since the phone is untethered, since the, it's an untethered jailbreak, um, you simply install Furious Mod. You do not need to install anything else whatsoever. So just add the Furious Mod repo, that is cityad.furiousmod.com. Um, install Furious Mod, it will ask you to respring the phone and once we have everything ready so here's the GV SIM card it's the ultra one that we always use so we put in a little tray there put in our T-Mobile SIM card and I'll simply turn the phone off oops wrong one Turn it back on. How do you do it? Alright, first thing we do when the phone just turns on is I want to make sure that it's untethered and that you do that by simply either opening Cydia or opening uh, Furious Mod. So you're going to get the no service screen or the no service up top. After about 30 seconds it will say no SIM card installed and again you do not do anything whatsoever with the new Furious Mod 2.0. iPhone. No SIM card installed appears. You simply don't do anything. It disappears. Now it says searching and if the three okay three G should be off since we're on T Mobile here. New voicemail. Because I had 3G turned down, it interferes with it for about a sec or so. And that's it. We got the full T Mobile view, and if I turn Wi Fi off. Well, we can do data roaming for that if you want to get your edge enabled, and I would still need to type in the settings. As you can see, thank you very much, guys. And if you have any questions, you can always give us a call or email us. Have a great one.